Hi everyone! <laughs> this is a pre-recorded take today and the reason is because the place I'm going to show you is closing on Friday. So I've done this on Wednesday and I'll keep a little um, keep a little stockpile of the places that I know are going to be closing and then the open air ones we can carry on doing live. Does that make sense? <laughs> We're on a long street at the top end. Let me see, the very top of the street, you might be able to see a bank and a barber shop and a shelter in the middle of the roundabout, only just. <laughs> and you cannot see any blue suburban skies at all. All you can see is pouring rain. Oh, not what we want. <laughs> I'm going to take you into the Penny Lane Community Centre now. So Penny Lane itself. The big sandstone wall, the other end of the street, and here we are. We're greeted immediately by a yellow submarine <laughs> and the wonderful graffiti wall. I think that's fantastic. And your Penny Lane sign, and my car again. <laughs> um, but I'm just going to wish around this way. You've got the lovely gardens, you've got St. Barnabas Church in the background there, and then. We've got, oh look, two magpies, there's one and there's another one, which means two for joy, one for sorrow, two for joy, three for a girl, four for a boy. So there's not quite the Beatles, it's actually Julie and Co, the um, directors of the Penny Lane Community Centre, the Penny Lane Development Trust. And here we've got your fake little Abbey Road <laughs> and then the Octopus's Garden Mosaic. This area used to be the training ground for Liverpool Boys Football Club. The daffodils are out, the blossoms on the trees just about. We've got all the little buds. <laughs> and then the bandstand. I do prefer it in the blue suburban sky era, <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> And then I'm going to take you over to the totem pole. Years ago, people might remember this just off Matthew Street, the totem pole. Um, they, they moved it because cars were backing into it. But if you look at this, it's, uh, it's actually really lovely. The carvings are quite special. See? Let's have a look. Yellow submarine. Sergeant Pepper and then I can see a live bird up there I think some of them have got little bits of the cathedral, little parts of Liverpool there you go, there's the Anglican Cathedral pretty clever <laughs> and the other side just to keep it even there's the Catholic Cathedral so the submarine here is really interesting. It's a real submarine and it was used at the premiere of the film. And so there's footage you can see when the Beatles are all heading into the cinema and the yellow submarines pulled up outside. It is a real submarine. It, I'm not going to try it out, but it was used in swimming pools and things. And the lovely man who made it, I think his name is Arthur, I can't remember now, but he came and there was a kind of an unveiling ceremony he was in a home at the time, he had dementia, but he came up for the day. Everybody came up on a coach from Hull and they unveiled the submarine, which was really, really nice. Sadly, he's no longer with us. Now, this is the graffiti wall. And here are the names, they call it the Wonder Wall. And here are the names of everybody who got involved with it. Oh, there's me. <laughs> so let me take a, a look. Oh, I see some names I really know there. Ah, oh. <laughs> So look. These names pop up all the time. Lenny, Parry, Lily, Spruce and Lyra Parry. <laughs> the Beatles pilgrimage tour is there. There's Vince, Roberts. Oh, there's a lot of familiar names. Aren't you generous, you lot? <laughs> but let's go along the hell wall and um, have a good look. So let's get back. Okay, all you need is love. We've been saying that all week. It definitely is. <laughs> ah, we don't need blue meanies. 
That looks like a big coronavirus, see? <laughs> I love John. I love Paul. Stuart Sutcliffe. And look, the quarrymen are mentioned here. The quarrymen really do support this place. In fact, last week they recorded a live album here. The guests on my tour with Quest Sports Travel with Ken Sol Solomon were really, really lucky to be able to meet them just before we continued on our tour. And this is the wall where they do encourage people to leave their names. So your name is probably there. Oh, never seen those flowers before, aren't they lovely? Here we are. And then back to the submarine. <laughs> now, this rose bush is really quite special. There's a Penny Lane rose bush over there as well that was my mum's. <laughs> but this one here, given by Jean is the McCartney rose and when it goes into full bloom the flowers are like a really deep pink but the smell is gorgeous absolutely lovely so the community center is for the people of Penny Lane but also for Beetle fans so it's a kind of a nice little symbiotic relationship I suppose so my Beetle fans help in the place and buying souvenirs then they can keep the place going for the community as well here's a good one Keep calm and love the beetles. I'm going to hover on that for a little bit. <laughs> this is the room that they hire out to the community. And then I'm going to take you inside the centre and show you everything here. So there's some wonderful memorabilia. It's all kinds of things that the, the local community make in a way. But there's some great books, a lot of them signed as well. Here's a cool t-shirt, which you can probably buy online. I'll send you the link later. <laughs> oh, and here. This is how the community centre used to look before Julie got her hands on it. <laughs> and there's the before and after. Some great images of the quarrymen there. And the quarrymen actually donated the washboard and the tea chest base. So here you can buy the wonderful book, Free Fab, by Colin Hanson and Colin Ball, which I highly recommend. It's Len Gary's book, John Paul and Me Before the Beatles, Len's album. You know, the older Quarrymen albums, all signed by them. So you can get drumsticks signed by the Quarrymen. Oh, there's Frida. Oh, <laughs> Frida Kelly. <laughs> but now I'm going to introduce you to Julie, who's hovering in the background. And she's going to give you some words of encouragement. Hi, Julie. Hi, Jackie. Hi, everyone. Um, well, we've made the sad decision today that as from Friday this week, we're going to have to close the centre in the interests of the public under the current condition with the coronavirus. It's a sad time for everyone here in Liverpool because, as you all know, it's the homeland of the, the Beatles and everything that goes with it. People come to Liverpool to see all of this and... You know and sadly we're all closing but we're very optimistic we're very happy we pull together and we'll be back very soon so keep checking out jackie's links and she'll keep you posted on all the news i will stay I'm safe all... everyone Bye. we're all well aren't we we are <laughs> i don't know if i can hang on i don't know if this will work because i don't know if it will be there but hello everyone we're socially distancing <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea if that worked then, but guys, um, I'm going to say goodbye now, and um, yeah, there you go, <laughs> it puts you around the Penny Lane Community Centre, <laughs> see you all soon, stay safe, stay well, and stay positive. <laughs>